Okay, so I'm going to talk about the news that has come out for Legend of Korra Book 4. We've got a few things to talk about. They've revealed what the season's name is going to be, the air date, and that's about it. But I'm going to talk about some other things on my mind. Now, Season 3 was really good. Despite, you know, I did have a few things that I didn't like about the se um, Season 3 finale. But on a whole, Season 3, book you know, Book 3 change was really good. I thought he was the best so far of the season. Zaheer is probably the best villain we've had in Legend of Korra for a while, for actually, like, ever. And I'm really... I was really cool with this, especially how it ended. It just kind of... I rewatched the ending uh, a few days ago, and I was like, man, this was a very impactful ending. I forgot how powerful that ending was for the season. So, book... So let's get into some of the news. Now, book four will be called Balance. Yes, Balance. Now, most of you guys know that this is going to be the final season. After this, no more Korra. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be the final season with only, like Book 3, uh, it's going to be like with Change, 13 episodes. So, yeah. I'm kind of sad, too, because Korra's now really good. <laughs> Korra's really good. I mean, <laughs> it had its misgivings in the first two seasons, but hey... Man, those la um, this, and I'm really excited. I have a lot of uh, hope riding in on for book four. Hopefully, it'll do some really good stuff. Because the thing is, is that this season, it, like I said, is going to be the final one. I'm really wondering what they're going to do with that. Now, here's the other big thing that really caught me off guard. This will start premiering in Jan... Uh, they haven't given an exact date, but the uh, month it's going to premiere is J uh, January 2015. Yeah, that's only a few months away, people. Yeah, I did not expect it to be that soon. I mean, I knew it was going to be next year, but not right out of the gate next year. <laughs> so I have this, so there's something amazing. I will be doing episodes review on them, and they would probably more than likely will be online as well. Yeah, I think they will be on on Nick not, uh, Nick dot, uh, Nick com. Tongue tied. <laughs> so that uh, that's going to be something right there that I'm really curious to see what they do with that. Um. Yeah, 13 episodes, really wondering, because here's the thing, Korra was left at a very dark place. She had that poison that more or less ruined her body, and now she's confined to a wheelchair, she's manically depressed, and the only thing that are, and it's a really bad time not to be an air, you know, to be the avatar, not to have the avatar around, what I mean. Uh, the Earth Queen is dead. Boss, you know, not only has Boss Sing Se fallen, but the entire Earth Kingdom has fallen into complete chaos. It is, com there, since there's no, you know, ruler anymore, the entire Earth Kingdom has fallen into an entire civil war. Everyone's get, trying to get a piece of it. Um, and the Red Lotus is still out there. So I'm guessing Book 4 will have more on the Red Lotus. And I'll get more into the Red Lotus in a bit, but yeah, the Red Lotus is still out there, and now the Air, you know, the Air Nation is coming back with Jinora leading them. I've really been liking, you know, despite the things I've had, you know, the misgivings I've had with Book Two, especially Book Two, that had some problems. But, but Jinora had some amazing, you know, character development in there, and it really uh, went further in this season. So, and it's finally become that it's not, Ten, it's Tenzin's helping, but for the most part, Jinora is leading them. Also, I went, aw, when she got her tattoos, she looked like, she looked like her grandfather. It was so, not, it was so cute. <laughs> so it's nice to see that Jinora is going to, Jinora, with Tenzin's help, is going, are, they're going to be leading the Air Nation and helping all nations, which is a good time that, um, a good time too, because like I said, the Earth Kingdom's kind of fallen in the shitter. So, other than that, I'm really curious to see how this is going to go, because here's the thing I've, I've never really touched on, and I didn't really think about it until... It's funny that I, did, that I haven't really touched on this, and I, did, I, know I was going to, but I, my mind went blank. Uh, my mind went completely blank when I did the review, and then I was like, shit, I should have brought up that point in, my review, you know, in the season finale review. My point being is that throughout this entire se you know this entire series of Legend of Korra, there's been a kind of long going thing with all the villains, you know, Amon, you know, Unalak and Vatu, and even Zahir in this group, is that they've all had this point of you're pointless. The Avatar is completely useless. There is no need for you anymore. 
uh, man, you know, the human race doesn't need a guardian or whatnot. You're, you know, the time of the Avatar is over. And yeah, Korra's in a real a shitty place because season two, she lost her connection with all of her past lives. Now this season, she's completely broken, beaten down, and she can hardly even move out of a wheelchair. It's really, so it's kind of hitting home, and I really want to see that story of, you know, Korra rising up, kind of like a Dark Knight Rises kind of thing with Korra rising back up, but without the use of a metal, you know, weird metal brace that allows you to kick through solid concrete walls, or having some old guy telling her, you know, your vertebrae is out of place, you know, we need to put it back, and then hit her in just the right point of her back, and then just have her hanging off a wall like a douche, and then seeing a... A, I'm, I'm, I need to stop right now. I need to stop. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's going to be the biggest thing I'm looking forward to, is Korra rising back up, if she even can. Because now, you know, all of that has really hit home with her, that, you know, the Avatar is no longer needed. But, you know, she's got to keep doing... And this is the worst time to lose the Avatar. Because now, without her to keep everything in balance... The whole world's kind of going out out of balance, and yeah. Now let's talk about the the Red Lotus. The Red Lotus, or as I like to call them, hi, you know, the Four Nations equivalent to Hydra, are pretty much they're out in the open now. So I'm kind. Of, so again, it looks like the Red Lotus is going to be the villains again, and we still have Zahir around. You know, who's to say we're not done with Zahir? You know, could he be back in the seat? You know, could the, the members of the Red Lotus break him out of prison? and, you know, get them back to their true leader, which we don't even know who their true leader is. It also looks like that other character I mentioned, uh, Kuvira, who Tonrock met in the other season, in the previous season, is going to be a bit, have a bigger role, as, I, as we all kind of predicted, because uh, there were some screenshots that were leaked in, in, like, a trailer, in one of the Legend of Korra trailers, and what had happened was we see these two screenshots of that same character, Kuvira, who is looking very evil, very menacing. So I'm guessing she's going to be one of the main villains, which would be cool. I mean, I, I, we've got an, we had an, uh, we've had two water bending villains. We had an air bending villain, and it's nice to see finally we're getting an air bending villain again. That earth bending villain finally, yeah, an earth bending villain. That'll be interesting, and also a metal bending villain as well. So. I don't know if Kuvir is, like, the head of the Red Lotus. Maybe she's, like, a high... My bet is that she's, like, a high-ranking agent in the Red Lotus. And uh, we'll probably see the real leader of the, of the Red Lotus in this season, like, the true head of it all, which I think might be that Jai Bao guy, who might be just really old or immortal or something. I don't know, maybe he's, like, Ra's al Ghul. Which, you kind of think about it, yeah. The, um... Like I said, the, the Red Lotus is kind of like Hydra and the, uh, and the League of Asa and the League of Shadows put together. You get the red, you know, red, you know, Hydra plus League of Assassins equal Red Lotus. I guess I don't know. I'm, I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to see Korra again. Yeah, if you had said this to me when I when I after you know book two is like, hey, book three gets, it doesn't get better till season three, hopefully it doesn't take a dive in season four, but yeah, I'm, I really think they've now got the, you know, I really think at this point that Mike and Brian and all the other guys at, you know, the legend, you know, the group of Legend of Korra uh, have finally got their shit together and have worked, have now got everything, you know, hopefully together and can give us an excellent conclusion, conclusion to this, not only the story of Legend of Korra, but also a conclusion to this universe. Because when this, e you know, when Legend of Korra ends, that's it. No more. Done skis. None. Zip. We're, I think we're pretty much done with the Avatar universe. So that really closes the book on the Avatar universe. So I'm really curious to see how it all kind of ends. It kind of sucks too because you know, not this universe is ending. You know, in a few months we're going to see the end of the uh, Lord of the Rings movies with uh, the you know the Battle of the Five Armies coming out this this December, and we're also getting for also we're also getting the end of Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, I don't talk about that show much, but I kind of need to. But yeah, that season finale of, season of uh, Sons of Anarchy... We're losing a lot of stuff, people! I'm sad. Any, uh, 
And also, you know, Doctor Who, you know, Doctor Who season. Well, it's not the well, it's the end of the season, but that's only weeks away because they won't have that season break, which I'm actually glad for. But I think at this point I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop myself here. And yeah, just once again, really excited to see what they do with this whole, with you know, with the final season. And I really want to know, guys, what do you guys think is going is what do you think this season's going to be like? What do you want to see from it? What do you think will happen? And how do you think Korra's going to rise back up again and be the Avatar once more? Anyway, uh, really curious to see what you guys think of for this one, and I and hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm out. <laughs>